version control. Okay, so what is what is version control? Version control, also known as revision control or source control, is the management of changes to documents, computer program, large websites, and other collections of collection of information. So basically, it manages our files. So for, for example, I have a Android Studio projects and as uh, in 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 my uh, my work here in my project here, sometimes I enhance my my project in in uh, creator version version one version two and so on and so on, and I need um, some kind of system that can handle these versions. So if some something happen with the new version or I find a bug, I can still re refer back to my old versions. So it's a way to control to manage your files, yeah, and changes to the document. And most importantly, it's very useful in collaborations environments. Okay. So previously in in um, mobile application programming class, when you do the exercise, when you do the group project, um, can you can you uh, share something to me? What are you doing? What uh, what was your doing? What was your do to work the project? Uh, for example, a collaboration project. What are uh, what method that you use during the mobile application? For example, okay, now Ah, uh, yeah. So when I was in mobile application programming, we do the group project by the share of our uh, yeah current file to another. Oh another friend so we not, we don't we don't uh do it uh like uh, it's the same time what we have uh yes continued our project to until the complete one okay so i mean you 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 send the project files to your friends and then your friends build it yeah, yeah. and run it and and after after your friends done working on the project he sent back to you or he sent with other friends and work. So it like that, right? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. And it's it's really annoying, I know. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah. And it's not efficient at all. Now you uh, in this course, in this uh, this week topics, I will tell you about the version control that will help you doing the uh, group project or collaboration project. And it can be uh, implement to other courses yeah not just not just not um, advanced native mobile programming but in this topic i focusing only in android studio features of fashion control which is very very uh, um, uh, sophisticated yeah okay so why we need version control first it track development and changes in your files yeah and of course, you can still go back to previous uh, files. Yeah, if you mistakenly create a new bug on your files, you still can go back to the previous versions. Record the changes and experiment with different versions. Yeah, merge two version of a file, manage conflict between versions. Sometimes your friends work with the version one, your other friends work with self version two, and then both of you can merge together. Merge merge the version together into uh, one version, one collaborative version, okay? You can still refer change moving backward to your history and so on and so on. Okay, so this is uh, the function of uh, version control. But before we try it, uh, you need to know several terms, terminology. First, uh, repository. What is repository? Repository is like a good, your Google Drive. It's like, um, it's like a place that you put your files in it, okay? It's like a hard drive, yeah? It contains a collection of files of various different versions of projects, okay? So the repository is a, like a container that contains your file you store in it in different versions and so on. So this is, a, that is all about the repository. There are two kinds of repositories, the local repositories, you know, the local repositories means that the, the repository that uh, place it in your own local laptop, local drive. So it's uh, nobody can access it, only you, yeah, because it's locally. 
And second kind of repository is remote repository, which is it's located on the cloud. And then you can access it. Yeah, you can upload file to the repository. Uh, people can have access into it and so on and so on. Okay, so we are going to work with this two kind of repository in, in advanced native mobile programming. Okay, clone. The term clone means that you create a new repository that uh, containing the revision from another repository. It means that you um, download, yeah, simply, simply said that you download your friend repository, your friend project into your computer okay commit means that you write or merge the changes made in the working copy back to the repository okay uh, means that uh, committing committing means that um, when you work on your project you want to save your project back to the repository you use commit means that you save you save your project to your own repository, which is local repository. Push means that you copy the, your local revisions to the remote revisions, remote repository. So um, the workflow here, if you're done working on the project, you run the commit operations, and then next you run the push operations, means that your local repository will be pushed to the remote repository. Okay. The opposite operation is pull. Pull means that your friends can download, yeah, pull like a download your latest changes to their computer. So this is called pull uh, operations. Okay. This is all the terminology in in uh, version control. So you have to know it. You know you have to know understand the the function of its operations okay and <clears throat> there's also more branch yeah so let uh, uh, let's you look at this picture here so as you can see here um we have one version of files our project the master the master will be the initial versions of our projects and then your project contains bug right so your friends working on it so your friends create a new branch of your project so um, now you have two versions, the master versions and the, the version that will uh, that being fixed by your friends. So your friends uh, fix that uh, problem here. And this, this circle means commit, yeah? Commit or um, a new changes, yeah? A new changes uh, start or recorded, yeah? New changes recorded. If you see the, the, the circle here, it means that uh, new changes being recorded on the repository. And then, of course, you need to add a new feature. You need to add a new features to your projects. So you're another friend working on it. So he or she create a new version, a new branch. So, yeah. so as you can see here, we have three brands. And he working on it. The, uh, this, is, this one is another recorded uh, changes. He added new features here. And before we commit back, we merge back to the to the master master project. Your friends already done finishing the bug fix, fixing the bug. I mean, and it merges it back to the master document, master projects. So the first versions is no longer exist because it's merged back, merged back to the master. And so on and so on, yeah. So it's very common that one project can have multiple versions. One version can have another version. It's very common in the version control. So just like that. <clears throat> you do you know why why we need to separate this into several things? Okay, why? Because first, um, in collaborative projects, you can assign your friends to work on different features of your projects okay so for example yamima you work on the login features nofal you work on the product features and so on and so on after you're done you merge it back to the master document master project okay sometimes you need your friend to fix the bugs and so on and so on 
and by by um, separate yeah by separate the the fashion in the bread so the different bread or different fashion means that it will not affect the main master the main master was isolated it's not affect uh, the main master so it it's it says that you can fix the bugs be, uh, without interrupt yeah without interrupt the other uh, uh, projects yeah the other projects just like that okay so this is term of brands <clears throat> okay next yeah let's just like i said you can merge your your fashion back to a single brand again okay? single master project yeah so um uh, there there are several version control system git mercurial subversion and so on um before i continue do you guys have ever have, have experience working with fashion control for firstly yes but yes, uh, yes, for me personally i forget how to use it because <laughs> yeah it's been a long time oh a long time uh, in what what courses you mean oh it's for competition sir oh all right all right the uh, i the user uh, i mean the user design competition your user human yeah. computer yeah and the mastic too okay mastic all right all right okay yeah yeah i remember that it's like i think it's last year right? <laughs> yeah okay okay thank you yamina <clears throat> okay others guys do you ever uh, okay never never use it never never use it okay never sir okay so there uh, there are several things of fashion control labels on the internet and um uh, each of fashion control have advantages and disadvantages as well but most popular fashion control was is a kit yeah kit it's used for short code management in software development mostly yeah um created by linus torvald in 2005 and tons of programming language um already uh listed on the rep story repository you can find the project of c sharp as uh kotlin php and so on and so on. a lot of project available in kit mercurial is another um kit uh version control system and it's written in python and subversions developed by apache it founded in 2000 by collapton and so on but what uh, make it more uh, most popular because it has feature of branching yeah branching feature means that you can create another version of your projects and finally you can merge it back to a single master document okay um a lot of people confused of the terminology of git uh, github gitlab bitbucket and so on and so on basically git is the system yeah remember that Git is the version control system, okay? The version or the or software that you use in your computer to manage your files. Yeah, it's only the system. But what is GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Sourceforce? This one is repository. Yeah, this one is repository, a place that you put your files with the Git mechanisms. This one, uh, this, um, this all use the Git mechanism, Git system. So the GitHub is a free version of like a, it's like a Google Drive where you can you can put your files in it. But compared to Google Drive, it manages it can manage the versions, record the history of your files. So, so you can use GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, software, whatever you like. But in this course, I will teach you how to use github okay github is like a just like a container yeah in the internet and it's free right yeah so how do we um operate the git means that how do we clone push pull whatever it is yeah how can you do that basically people mostly use terminal or command prompt yeah as you can see here on the on the screen uh there's a lot of comment uh here uh add commit remote push blah 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 and so on and so on but of course there's another version easy versions yeah it use using gui graphical user interface as you can see here on the screen 
this one is Kraken, Kraken Kit or Kraken Lab. I, I, I forgot the name of the software. Basically, it's uh, similar like Common Prompt, but it's uh, user friendly. It's it it features a rich graphical user interface that you can uh, see it better. Yeah. Okay. Now about the Android Studio. Thankfully, um, you don't need to install different software to manage your kit uh, versions. I'm use I'm uh, personally use uh, 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 Source Three. Yeah. If you know about that, Source Three. Source Three is a, a GUI, GUI, GUI software. Yeah, uh, that can operate the kit, and I usually use that to manage my website project. But for Android Studio project, for our Android project, uh, you no need to install additional software. Why? Because Android Studio pro Android Studio already have integrated have integrated kit. Uh, or fashion control in inside the software. Yeah, it means you can do the different kit operation, commit, push, pull, branch from inside Android Studio. Yeah, within Android Studio, no need to add additional software. Okay. Now, uh, I will announce the group assessment, and then you have to do the group assessment, and you need to submit to me next week. Okay, next week. I make a group of maximum three students, and I think we have five students. Some of you probably need to three and two, yeah, three students and two students, yeah. Divide in three and two students, okay? Can you do that? Fine, yeah. Okay. Make a group maximum three students. Follow all steps on the next slides, yeah. Follow all step on the next slides, and each student must create their own repository. And then each student must practice the Git operations, pull, push, clone, merge, branch, check out, and so on. Okay. And just one group leader, this group leader must submit or write GitHub repository URL of all the members at ULS, the deadline next week. Okay. So let's see what the steps is. The step is first. Uh, create a GitHub account. Okay, so please, uh, if you does, if you already have the GitHub account, you can skip this step. This step, you just need to log in to your GitHub. Okay, but if you doesn't have GitHub account, you uh, follow these steps. So I'm going to uh, write on the chat screen here. GitHub.com/login. Right. So. Open that one, and then create account. So this, uh, this this is signed in GitHub. So you need to click this button to create an account if you doesn't have it, if you don't still don't have it. But if you already had the GitHub account, you just need to log in. So um, use the uh, uh, username, a uh, red username, any username if you like, the email address, password. You can use the QIA email address or your own email address and password. Verify account. Pick this. Uh, yeah, that's it. Create account. Sometimes you need to um, verify your email address. You may do it now. And uh, let me know if you finish create the GitHub account. How about the others? I already have it, sir. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. If you're done or already have it, you need to log in. Sign in, and you need to create a new repository. Okay, you need to create a new repository and name it as Native NRP. Look at my screen now. You you will see it. Uh, create a new repository. Yeah, find new a new button. Click new button, and then on the repository name, um, select uh, or type in Native, and following with NRP and in the left side there is owner yeah indicated that this repository owner is this username okay and on the bottom part of the repository creations page you will ask you will be asked 
uh, if you want to set this repository as public or private. Public means that um, your repository can be accessed by anyone. Everybody can clone your repository. Everybody can commit on or push your repository and so on. So uh, please do not use public, just use private because it's more secure and, and you can limit uh, who can access you? Who can have, have access to your repository, and who uh, is unable to access your repository? We can we uh, we talk about it later, okay? And so uh, in the bottom part, ignore ignore everything. The checkbox here, ignore everything. Just press the create repository button. Okay, done. Uh, wajar, my internet is okay. Okay, not good. So, sir, I use uh, GitHub desktop, and there's no public and private repositories, uh, but I can create it. Is, is that okay? It's fine, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, sir. What we're doing today is we creating our remote repository, remote repository. Yeah. So we have our remote repository uh, with following name, native NRP, and next steps, um, we are going to integrate it with our Android Studio projects. Okay. Okay, Yamima done. Okay, others. Cal, Novel, Veras, okay, done. If you successfully create your repository, you will see something like this, yeah? So in the GitHub website, you will see several different tabs here. And of course, the code tabs, there's nothing you can see here because we still doesn't have anything uploaded yet in our repository. And then you can see the easy use tracker here and pull requests. Pull requests uh, means that uh, it's, a, it's a kind of report to, to um, send a request to your friends that on the same thing or, or uh, collaborate in the same project to pull the new versions. Actions, project, security, insights, and settings. The most important one is settings. I will talk about it later. Okay, but most importantly, you can you now see the empty repository that you created here. Okay. Okay, done. Now, um, what you need you need to do next is installing Git. Yeah, installing Git to your computer. If you already had Git, like um, Udistia, yeah, Udistia already had Git uh, desktop, yeah, means that you already had Git previously in your computer. I think Yamima also had Git, yeah, okay. But for the others, please download the Git software and install it. And when you in, when when you install this software, it will ask different things. It's it shows a lot of pop up dialog. Yeah, you just uh, use the default setting. Yeah, just just press next, 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 next until it's done. Okay, just press next until it's done. Okay, I give you times to to download and install it and create your repository before we continue to the next steps. And let me know if you. Uh, finish this installing kit steps. The next step is open your Android Studio project. Okay, in the Android Studio project, you can create new project and then name it as uh, same as your repository. But you can name it as anything you like. It doesn't need to just be same like this. So let's say create a new project. Um, just empty one because we do not create any fancy in this weeks yeah this weeks we just just uh, we just play play with this project yeah this empty project next 
and then we set name for it at because I already have native. Yeah, so I'm going to change it to net funds at funds and following with your NRP, yeah, with your NRP. And then uh, just let just let and uh, at, uh, the other settings as default. Just press finish and wait for gradual process. Uh, my Android Studio version is currently at uh, 4.1.1.1. I don't know if it's latest or not, but uh, if you you can check it yourself, you may upgrade it to the latest one because there's a lot of uh, bug fixes and additional features on Android Studio and maybe it can help you on your projects. Yeah, All right, I'm done gridling. Next step. Here is, um, we have to check the Git integrations in our Android Studio, whether it's already integrated on your Git or not, your, by clicking settings, file, settings, and then you search for Git. Yeah, Git, okay. And in the Git um, menu here, on the setting, you will see the uh button test here yeah click it on the button if you can see the git versions here means that um the android studio already have integration already integrated with the kit if somehow it's failed to uh retrieve the versions you can uh, you have to check your git installations or maybe uh, you mistakenly um pin out or pinpoint the exe files in different folders. You have to fix it by clicking this folder and find the git exe. But as, as, as I said er, er, earlier, if you install with the default value, when you install the git in the, with the default value, um, you, you will be referred to this path, yeah? Okay, press test and then you get the git version means that you ready to go, yeah? To the next steps. Press OK to dismiss the settings. The next step is integrated the Git into your projects. You have to done this once per projects. Okay, you have to integrate this. I mean, you have to do this step once per projects, only once per project. It's very easy. Just click VCS menu on the top menu here, we see, you see the VCS, VCS uh, stands for version control uh, system here. And then you will see the enable version control integrations, enable version control integrations, click on it, and then select a version control system to associate with the project kit. Actually, Android Studio support this three system, just like I mentioned on the, on the slide the Git, the Mercurial, the subversions, but we use Git today. Just select Git and then press the OK button. That's it. And what's happened here? As you can see here, so, uh, suddenly, you will see additional tab on the bottom part of screens. The Git tab, okay? The Git tab here. If you click on it, you will see difference uh, tab here, the local changes, the consoles, the log files, and so on. And on the local changes, it say that there is there are 39 files that are not committed to the repository yet. You need to commit it, the files to the repository. But uh, mostly our time is 
uh, uh, working on the lock, yeah, the lock uh, kit here. So the, in this lock kit here, it will show you uh, uh, what brands you are working on right now, and what uh, what uh, how many versions you have, how many projects that you have on that brands. So basically what we do when we click VCS and enable here, we creating our local repository. And as default, it create the master brands or the master version. It's, it must, it's a default value for the kit here, the master uh, brands, okay? Do you have any questions before I continue? <clears throat> Not yet. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Yeah, I almost forgot. I'm I forgot to create my repository. Let me do this fast. Let me log in it in my kit here. Yeah, this is my repository, guys. So a lot of love uh, project I have here. Some of projects only trials. Click new one. And I'm going to name it as advanced 2003. Yeah, like that. Okay, just private and create a repository. And we have one empty repository. See my code here, there's nothing here. So this is my repository address URL. You will need this, yeah? You will need this. So um, this is very important that you uh, copy paste or uh, no, the, uh, you need to copy this letter, yeah? Copy paste this letter on your Android Studio. Okay, let me continue, guys. So what we do previously, just creating our local Git repository with only one version, master branch versions. Next, okay, I already mentioned about Git tab. Git tab shows you um, information about your versions, conditions, and what progress on your versions, what versions already available on the on the local on on, on the remotes. Next uh, next step is staging and commit. Remember, when you do something in your project, for example, I'm I'm writing something here like writing comment, um, a new comment. Uh, we need to implement login features and so on and so on so you write something in your project you you write codes in your projects and after you're done writing the codes you need to commit your projects to your repository okay commit your project to your repository wait a minute okay okay how can we do that it's very easy yeah um, if you want to commit, co uh, remember, commit means that we save our project to repository, simple as that. We store our changes, two changes here, to our repository. But because uh, we never commit it previously, means that we're going to uh, save a lot of files, yeah? A lot of Android Studio projects well. So how to commit? Simply click VCS and then click commit or you can use control plus K here. This is the shortcut or command K on your Mac. Just click that one. And then, yeah, this um, commit changes dialog appears. So it's it listed a lot of files that um, created on your local repository that you are not yet committed. So basically what I'm doing is, usually I do, do is just take the parents and version files here, take that one, and it will take every, every files below it, 40 items added. And the most important thing is currently, I work on the master branch, master versions. Means that when I press, press commit here, when I press commit here, this file, all files that I take here will be added to the master branch. Yeah, master branch. Okay. And you need to write um, commit message. Yeah. You need to write commit message. 
and you can nip any any message as you, as you like. So for example, I'm nip it at init, yeah. Initialize, yeah. Means that I'm I'm writing initialize. Yeah. You can write any any text you like. And finally, you just press commit. Right. You just press commit. Okay. Yeah. After you click commit, um, there's a warning of code analysis of Android Studio. This one is picture of Android Studio. It tells you that three files contains problems. Actually, it's not error, no error, but three warnings found. Would you like to review them? If you click review, um, it cancels the commit and you need to fix the file first before committing. But remember, it's not error, it's just warning. Yeah. Uh, what, what kind of warning is this? Yeah, usually, usually, yeah. Uh, usually unfinished to do. Yeah. Warning on UI. Remember, when you're working on UI in Android Studio, when you work with um, what is called hard code string. It gives you warning if you work with image without descriptions. It also gives you warning. It's some kind of things that it's not error, but simply said as a regular warning. You can ignore it, yeah. You can ignore it, or you can review and fix it. It's all up to you. But usually, I just ignore it and press commit. Okay. Now you notice something happened in your Git tab here. The init, the commit message, our first versions, yeah, our first changes appear on my log here, the init one. Okay, a moment ago, um, this one is indicate uh, the date or the times that you commit this message and it shows you the init. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, you, you commit means that you store or save the changes on your local repositories and probably you will create another one. So you will create another one. You add another, let's say, um, I'm going to add the on back press. Yeah, back press like this. Um, I, I, I'm adding the, a new line of change the codes. And then I'm doing another commit, another commit again, yeah. So the kid notice there is only one file that changes from previous version, which is main activity. As you can see here, it knows which files have been changes. So it's only one file here, the main activity. And I want to commit my changes to the local repository. And I set commit here. I change the commit message as um, adding, I mean, back press, even edit, back press, check, edit. Yeah, come in. Okay. Now, as you can see here, my master branch now have two um, versions start here. The, in the first one, commit two minutes ago, and the back press check uh, just moments ago, All right? Yeah, to, um, that's about commit, miss commit to the local repository. Do you have any questions? Yeah, remember, commit means you save your changes to the local repository. Remember that, okay? Remember that. Okay, let me continue again, guys. So uh, the main features for fashion control is Ability to work together, yeah. Ability to work together with your friends, with your group members. So it's you need to somehow to make it alive. You make make it online. You make it remote. It remote um, repository. You have to have gain access to remote repository. It means that you upload your projects to the repository, so your friends can pull the projects and continue the works. To set up remote connections, first you need to create your group, uh, sorry, your GitHub repository. We already done that, yeah. Remember, we we have this, yeah, the empty 
repository. We already done that. And secondly, um, access the VCS Git remote. Remember, you only need to do this once per project. So go back to your Android Studio, click VCS Git, and choose the remotes. Remotes here. I repeat, yeah, VCS Git remotes. Okay, um, there's nothing to show here because we are not yet at the repository, remote repository. Click the plus sign, plus sign. And then, yeah, uh, the Android Studio asks you the URL of your repository is simply, you just simply copy, yeah, copy this URL here on your GitHub here and paste it in this one. Okay, just press okay. Checking URL, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. If it's valid URL, valid kit, kit URL means that it's fine. It's stored on this project. Now just press OK. OK, uh, we already set the remote repository yeah, to this advanced 2018-20. But remember, the next step is um to push yeah push the changes to remote yeah remember you only start in your local see local master branch so any changes you already done previously only start on your local drive we need to upload or in the git version control system the term upload is means that you push you push all the changes on your local to the remote repository okay so how can we do that click vcs git push okay remember you can only do this if you already set the remotes push press push all right so um the push commits to advance to trying to enter your remote repository shows you that um this is uh, uh versions that will be uploaded to remote repository so uh just press push yeah just press push push here and then when you click that yeah when you click that um your files being uploaded to the server um wait, wait a minute sorry okay yeah okay sometimes sometimes um it asks you for password I, uh, let me show you sometimes it asks you for password for your github okay i'm not have that screenshot but okay it's okay yeah, sometimes it's ask you, ask you for password. So what you need to do is simply just provide your, ah, like this, like this, um, log into GitHub. Um, when you see this a uh, dialogue, it means that you have to provide the username, your GitHub username and password. Yeah, just click login. Okay, right, uh, that's it. Now, notice that some changes here on the Logmaster, on the Git tabs, you see two things here. First, you have local repository, which is master here. And then you have remote uh, uh, repository. And it has also, also have the same thing, master. Yeah, master fashion. So we have remote master and we have local master. And then um, on the right side of screen, corner of screen, you also you see the the uh, the current branch that you're working on, which is master branch, okay, local and master, uh, sorry, local and remote. So now you have local repository, you have um, remote repository, and the next one, the next step is how to fetch, yeah, okay. So the uh, push means that you upload your changes to the internet. So your friends can work on it. 
your friend your friends edit new features on your projects and the opposite of push is to fetch yeah fetch is like a download yeah download the latest changes from remote so fetch means you download the changes from remote and then you copy it into your local repository how to fetch it's very easy just click physias get and pull but because um there's nothing new on our repository because we only work in this repository ourselves so nothing new here just press pull means that um means that you you just do nothing about it because there's nothing new here click pull just click pull yeah pulling changes from origins pulling changes all files up are up to date means that you already have the latest versions on your on your um, master branch so means that you already have the latest versions on your master branch no so it does nothing yeah okay so before i continue do you have any questions yeah do not confuse about commit push pull yeah let me repeat yeah let me repeat once again commit means that we store our changes to the our local repository yeah it will create a new version of it push means that we upload we push our changes our files that we change to the remote repository pull mean pull mean we download we fetching uh, from remote repository to our local repository to make sure that we already have the latest um latest versions yeah so for example yamima ask um faros you need to work on on login features so faros working on login features and then faros commit and push to the remote yamima just need to pull it so yamima now have the latest version um the project that uh, faros already added the login features on it okay yeah just that's a collaborating thing i hope you i hope you use this on your group project just not in this course you may use this on all programming courses okay okay let me continue create branches yeah branches sometimes just like i said earlier that sometimes you need to delegate delegate yeah uh, for the teamwork collaborative project you need to delegate the job to your friends so you need to work on this you need to work on it you need to fix uh, fix, fix the bug and so on and so on. means that we need to create a new branch yeah a new branch like i said in earlier uh, slides we need to create a new branch so your friends can can focus work on that features your the other friends can focus on other features and so on so uh you you are you can focus on the master features here a uh, hints or tips usually um when you add a new features usually you work with different files so you add a new files because if all your member work on the same file like the main activity it will somehow uh, uh conflicting yeah conflicting so you 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 work on the same file and suddenly you read on the same codes it will occur a conflict so when conflict happens you need to decide which version is uh, will be used as the accepted version yeah so um uh, my tips here if you delegate the job to your friends means that uh, you need to work with the several different files yeah means means that if you're working on new features uh, create a new class for it you, you you create a new activity for it you create a new fragment for it and you just simply um work on that fragment yeah do not do not uh tamper with other files yeah that's my tips yeah okay so let's say yeah let's say i want to create a new brand so let's say um yemima as far as to create a new login features a new login features but a uh, Faros does not want to 
uh, distract or annoy or um, make a mess with master brands. So Faros needs to create a new versions, a new brands. How do we how do we create a new brands? It's very simple. Just click VCS kit and then click the branches here. All right. And we only have one branch, yeah, master. You click a new branch, new branch, and you name the branch here. Um, so for example, I name it as login development or like login dev, like login dev, yeah. Login dev means that this new branch, I'm working on login dev right now. Just, pre, uh, just click create. Now um, in your lock kit here, now we have two branches, two brands. First is master and second one is login dev. Yeah, login dev, which is um, the login dev also have the latest back press check added as the latest versions on login dev. Uh, login dev, um, uh, as you can see here, and now we're working on locking login dev. How, how can I know that? Because on the bottom right corner here, you'll see the login dev here. It means that this is working directory. Okay. If you want to change the current branch that you work on, you can use checkout. Do I mention about it in my slide? Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, switch or check out between brands. So um, if you if you want to switch between brands, yeah. Um, for example, I'm I'm I want to switch to master. You can click the master and click check out. Okay. But before we do change uh, brands, I, I need you to understand this. If you are working with lots in dev brands, means that any changes, any changes you do on your project will be stored on login dev branch okay remember that so for example i give you one good example let's say on the login dev i'm going to create a new class a new class content file class um let's say a uh, in class so we going yeah do you want to add the following file to kit yes add and then we type something here um username Username string and password also string. Yeah, so we have class login, a new class login. See, and then um, the username and string password. Okay, now Faros done creating login class and a Faros thing. Um, I think I need to commit. Yeah, commit this one. Yeah, um, commit this one. Click the commit one. So the commit dialog appear on screens. And as you can see here, what changes here, we added new login KT. And as you can see here, we working on login dev brands. So you can take the commit mission to login class added, something like that. And then click commit. Um, yeah, uh, the review appear. No error, two warning found, no problem, just come in. Okay, uh, please take a look here. Now my login dev have a new um, version shows here, the login class added. But if you switch to master, it still doesn't have login class. Why? Because uh, we are working on the, the login dev branch we added the changes only for login dev, okay? Only for login dev. So let's say we add another things here, okay? To string, off write to string, return super to string. And I think I'm going to commit again. Just click commit. Yeah, so I'm going to add message here. Um, to string method added like that, click commit. Review commit. Okay, we add a new version on it. But remember, remember, this one's still local, yeah? Local. If you click on, if you see on the remote part, 
the remote part still have only one branch master. Remember what we must do to upload our local changes to the to the remote. How what we must do? We push. We have to push our changes to remote. Thank you, Kudisria. Yeah. So basically, we just click paste VCS here, get and push. Push here, push. And then just press push. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Wait a minute. Okay. Push login dev to the new branch. Now, as you can see here, guys, the remote now have login dev. The master only have login dev. So the login dev on the remote also have the latest version, which is as you can see here, the latest version is to string method here, but the master one only until this back press check edit. Um, you will see this in 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 this screen. You see the what is called the master origin master still in here, but but your login dev is still on uh, is is still ahead. Yeah, in here. Okay. Yeah. So if you look in the your browser if you refresh it your you, repository look at this now my repository consists of a lot of files this one is our understudio projects and it's also store the branches yeah the the master branches and also the the login dev branches okay yeah okay so this one is master and this one is login. If you switch to the login, you will see code from login dev and so on. So this is our conditions of um, our repository. Next. Yeah, somehow, sometimes, after we done do some, uh, here, we done with the login feature, we need to merge it back to master. It means that um, we have to copy our update to master. So we merge back to master. Uh, so in this case, Faros already done the login features. It means it must be merged back to master branch. How can we do that? It's very simple. Let's say we want to merge login feature back to master branch. To do that, look at the bottom right corner, click on the branch names, and then choose master branch and check out and rebase into current. So what in what is meaning? What what does that mean here? Is as you can see here, we start we are now in login dev branch, and we want to merge our login dev branch back to master. What we do is click on it, and click on the master branch, and re uh sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Master, check out and rebase onto current. Okay, it means that we merge our um, login dev into master branch and we switch our branch to master. But if you just click check out, means that you only switch the branch without without um, merge your branch. Okay. Please wait a minute, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's continue again. So if you click the branch, like a master here, and then you click checkout, means that you switch the working branch to the checkout branch, uh, to the current path. But if you choose the checkout and rebase onto current, means that you merge your current branch, which is login dev, into the master branch. Let's do that and see what happened. Checkout. Rebasing master and look on your master local here. Yeah, this one is master branch. And our master branch have been merged with our login dev. As you can hear, if you double click a master, now it also have two string methods. Yeah, the master now have two string methods. Make sure before you merge something, make sure you not implement a new bug on it. Yeah. Do not implement new bug. Make sure it's a bug free before you merge. Yeah. 
um, do not merge feature that not yet finished because remember master is the is the error free versions of your applications yeah master is the error free version of the application if you want to add new feature you need to rinse it out working on features and if you um satisfied with your features you can merge it back and it become the latest additions to your original branch master branch so when you click login dev and also the master a uh, master branch it's it now has this two string method added yeah the latest one but um look at the symbol tag here uh, we already do this on remote eh, sorry local i mean local the remote still left on in the first condition yeah left behind here so what we need to do is just to push everything to remote push everything to remote just push it pushing 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 out yeah that's it yeah that's it okay now my remote also have the master the latest additions All right okay that's how you merge brands okay okay um do you have any questions until now yeah not yet, not yet. okay so let me recap again, yeah. Commit means we store our changes to local repository. Push means we upload or push our changes to the remote repository. Pull or fetch means that we retrieve, we download the latest version from repository, okay? And then when you have more than one branch, you can switch the current working branch by clicking on this one and just check out check out yeah check out means that we switch between uh brands we work on different brands remember um be careful when you switch brands and then you start uh make a changes on your project it will start in that branch yeah remember that so let's, let's say i'm on the master branch if you type something in here, you commit, it will save in the master branch. Remember that. Okay. And what else? Check out and rebase. Check out and rebase means that uh, means that you merge, yeah, you merge the current branch branch to other branches. Okay, that's how you merge. All right, let's continue again with a low access for other media member. Remember. Remember, your repository is private, so no one can have access until you allow them to have access on it. So let's say, let's say I'm going to let access you guys to my, my repository here. Uh, how can we do that? You just click settings here, settings, and then um, minutes access. So you can see here, minutes access. And then who has access? Only those with access, yeah. So um, how to add our friends to access this uh, repository? We can click the invite a collaborator. Let's say, um, can you guys uh, write your username on your chat? I'm going to add you to my repository here. Please write, write. Um, okay. Right, Yamima, I'm going to add you. Okay, others. Okay, invite a collaborator. Invite, okay. Others? Is there? It is the uh, going to edit in here. Now for Faros, going to add you also in here. Um, 
yeah um you will have you will reach you will um, get the email invitation email from the github to join my repository here and after you agree with the invitations you can do the git operations on my repository yeah on my repository okay so it um so we can continue to our slide because it's um uh it's, it's the reason why we we need to add our friend member to our access our access to access our repository so the the next topic is how to clone existing project how to clone existing projects okay there are tons of available GitHub project on the internet. Using Android Studio, you can easily clone GitHub project and start work on it. And in this case, let's let's clone your friend repository. Let's say I already grant you access to my repository. So I will give you this URL. I'm going to copy paste it in chat. In chat, chat, chat. Yeah, that's it. That's my repository, guys. So let's say you want to work with my repository. You want to change my files. Let's say, let's just lay like that. So it means that um, uh, you need to clone my repository to your Android project. To do that, close your project in Android Studio. Close all your project in Android Studio and you will see the welcome to Android Studio screens. And we are going to create a new repository. I'm sorry, we are going to create a new project, but we are going to clone it, clone it from my repository. To do that, you click these options. Get from version control. Get from version control. Click on it. And you can also uh, use the login GitHub, but because you work, you are going to clone my repository. You just need to copy paste the URL. Okay, please do that. Okay, copy paste the URL and press clone. I'm sorry, the director is is not empty. Yeah, I'm I'm not I cannot do that. Maybe maybe um um uh, maybe you. Uh, do you have uh, whoever this here already have repository that I can clone? You may send me chat or um, if it's private, please please let me in. This is my username. Yeah, Mima or Yudistia, maybe maybe. I forgot uh, which email I use in Wait, here. Sir, because I can't log in. I have internet problem, sir. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Others, guys. Yeah. Okay, lah. Uh, all right. So uh, maybe later, yeah. Maybe later. Um, you can allow me to to work with your repository, yeah? And please invite me to your repository and I'm, you do the same thing. I'm going to paste in here and let me clone. When clone it done, yeah? You will have a new Android Studio project uh, of your friend repository. So any changes, yeah? You can do the Git operations on your friend's project. You can push, pull, fetch, commit, and so on and so on. Okay. So back to your group assessment. Yeah. Let's go back to here. Um, what you need to do is everybody must create uh, their own repository. And um, please um, practice kit operations like I do in the slide here. Pull, push, clone, merge, print, check out, blah, blah, blah in one of repository yeah in one of repository or uh, all repository you have and then the group leader must submit or write github repository you are of all member at ULS only group leader yeah only group leader 
Okay, the deadline is next week. Okay, guys, do you have any questions before I finish the class? So, sir, so if you want to use the pull and push and etc., right? We need yep. to update something, right? Can we just use comment to it? Um, oh. but what do you mean with comment? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You mean uh, you need to change something on your file? Yeah. You can do anything you like, like yeah. writing comment, adding activity, for example, dummy activity, yeah, dummy activity, add new layout, add new image, whatever you like, as long as you change something on your project, okay? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. So I'm not looking what are you going to work with your project because it's dummy project. Of course, you no need to create any fancy program. Just a dummy project. Yeah, empty project. Um, I want you to use this git operations. Uh, you you may add new command. You may add new image. You may create new activity. You may create new fragment and so on and so on. Okay. Just uh, because I want to see in here, um, uh, sorry, this, where is it? Mm. Sorry, sorry, here. Because I want I want to look to here this one the four commits yeah here and I can see uh, who already commit on the project yeah I want to see this man okay and I would like to uh, look for another branches and look uh, what operation you already done on that repository okay guys do you have any questions? Additional questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, for the group, uh, you said we make a group from the, the two or three people, right? Yep. So is it uh, up to us or Yo, you it's all up. To... It's all up to you, okay? You have... <laughs> yeah, it's all up to you. Yes, okay. Is it uh, six person? Yeah, I think. Six or five students? Five, sure. Five students, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all up to you guys. Okay, do you have any questions before I finish the class? No, sir. No, no okay. Sir. Okay, and I'm going to upload today recording to ULS. So, those for those who um, have problem um uh this in this lecture you can rewatch the movie rewatch the recording at your own space and practice the today's topics which is fashion control it's very useful um especially if you work uh you are to graduate and you work yeah uh, mostly uh company use fashion control like uh, i'm doing right now okay okay Thank you for your attention, yeah, guys. Okay, see you again. See you again next week. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before I finish the class, please um, turn on your camera because I need to uh, take picture as improvement. Uh, my webcam is error, sir. Yeah, no problem. Okay. It is the, uh... all right. Um... Okay, one, two, three. All right, thank you very much for your attention, guys. See you again next week. Bye-bye for now. Thank, thank you, sir. Yeah. See you. Yeah.